So let's look at a way to find the largest value. Uh, so there are other ways to look at values in sets, but we're not there yet. So what we want to do is we're kind of using this as a tool to learn how to use a for loop. For loops are incredibly powerful. We can solve really complicated problems through this iterative uh, approach, meaning looking at something over and over and over again. Um, so for loops, uh, in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to use a for loop to find the largest value. And you can see I've, I've put some code out here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of comment this code out and explain how it works as we go. So this right here is just where I'm setting a value. So that's my comparison because I need a number to start with. Um, Otherwise, things get very confusing. There are ways around it. But again, I'm trying to keep this uh, simple, kind of a learning approach. Um, you can see that I've got a list of values here. And what I want to do is I want to find the largest value. Well, think about the math in our brain when we try to figure out the largest value. Uh, at some point in our brain, we say, well, um, 100 is more than 1. Well, how do we know that? Well, we might have just memorized it, uh, but at some point we can't memorize every number in the world. And if I were to say 400,723,237 uh, is larger or smaller than 25, yeah, you know, you'd immediately go, ah, oh, it's bigger, right? Um, and the reason is because we we figure out how to do this comparison in our head. Um, and the same with this. If you looked at these values, um, you can do in your head a comparison. You can look at that and very quickly go, well, the biggest is 44. Well, how did you figure out 44? Well, I just knew. No, no, you didn't just know. Um, you understand the math behind it. You know to look at each of these values and basically in your head, very quickly, you compare it. You said, well, I got 22. Is 44 bigger than 22? Yeah. Is uh, 12 bigger than 44? No. Is 3 bigger than 44? No. Is 11 bigger than 44? No. Is 25 bigger than 44? No. So 44 must be the largest. You did all of that just like that in your head. Um, so now the trick is put that into code, right? It's the same solution. So you can see we really only have two lines of code to do the job. We're going to say, all right, I want to loop through this thing. And I want to look at each number and see if it's bigger or smaller than the number before it. All right? So when I first hit this thing, I say each has a value of 22. Well, I need to compare it to something. So that's why I've got this initial value of minus 1, some number that I know is lower than everything in my list. So I say, well, is 22 bigger or smaller than minus 1? That's bigger. All right, well, then I'm going to take 22 and assign it to the largest value. Now, largest value is 22. All right, so go to my 4. It says look at the next thing. The next thing is 44. All right, well, is 44 larger than 22? No. So we skip this line. Go back again. Is 12 larger than 44? Oh, and so it's going to keep going through these things and iterating through this uh, and constantly replacing the prior value when necessary so that we can come up with an answer, 44. So let's look at that. Let's get some comparisons. Uh, I mean, let's get some code in here to show you how this is working. So my for loop And then my comparison. Well, what's that do? It uh, and the each variable is larger than the variable in the. largest value. All right, and then if it's not, I was saying, oops, let's do this. All right, so test it there, and then if each is larger than value, then it's going to put
to the variable largest value. Now I know that's a lot of words. That's a lot of typing of code for a really simple, I mean, a lot of typing of comments for a really simple piece of code. But again, remember, we're in a class, we're learning, I'm grading. And so being able to describe what each line is doing thoroughly is critical. It shows me that you understand the code. You didn't just get lucky. You didn't just intuit it, uh, but that you could probably apply this to larger problems. All right.